Hello friends, welcome to CyberCAD Solutions. In this session, we are going to see how to use Visualis ActiveX methods to read object properties. In the earlier sessions, we have seen entGet function to read object properties. In this session, we will see how to use Visualis ActiveX methods. To use Visualis ActiveX methods through Visualis, we have to load Visualis ActiveX interface first of all by using a method called vlload.com and then we can use visualize back to x methods so let us see how to do that one go to visualize by d take a new sheet and to load visualize back to x interface into autocad we have to use this function call vlload.com so first of all we need to load this one and then we can call any visualize back to x function he has selected this one and loading into autocad so finished so activex interface has been already loaded now how do we read object properties earlier we used to read entity name using ent cell function so similarly we will read entity name and we should get vla object name also using entity name using that vla object name only we can read properties let us see how to do that one first of all let us read the circle object name so set q c is for circle cr of int cell backslash n select circle object so select this and load into autocad so that it will ask you to select circle object see at the command prompt it is asking select circle object i am going to select this circle like this now we have got circle object into c variable now we need to get its vla object name so it is like this another function called like this vlax e name to vla object so when you write this function it should come into blue color then only you have written it with the correct spelling so to this we need to provide entity name this will return vla object name so i am going to store that as c object c object is the variable name which will store the vla object name which is written by this function so select this one also and click load selection now you can see here in console window the vla object name has been returned and that will be stored in c object now using this c object we can read the circle object properties let us say first of all i would like to read the layer name of that circle so how so vla get method i am going to use vla get layer of c object and close simply that is enough to read the layer otherwise in the earlier sessions we have seen we need to get all the properties using int get function and from that and from the return list we need to get dxf code 8 list and in that we will have layer name now here simply we can directly get the layer name so select this statement and click load selection you can see layer 2 is its layer name so let us go to autocad select this and you can see layer 2 is the layer name similarly its line type is hidden so let us go to visually spidey and let us try to get the line type vla get line type of c object and load this statement also so you can see hidden is the line type similarly let us try to read its radius vla get all the properties which are relative to that object can be written over here after vla get function so select this and click load selection so you can see 4 is the radius let us go and check it out list so radius is 4 units so similarly try to this line entity also let us get its name first of all vl object name so set q l entity cr of and cell backslash n select line object and load this statement i am selecting this line so now in l entity name line entity name has been stored now get its vla object name so set q l object vlax 
a name a layer object of l see here this color is in black color means i have written something wrong so what is it v l a x that is the wrong v lax v l object of line and close the parenthesis and load this statement now we have got v l object of line now using that l object let us try to get layer line type and we can have length of line angle of line like that so v l a get length of l object let us try this one so i am selecting this statement and click load selection so you can see 10 units let's go to here you can see dimension is kept over here with 10 units right similarly let us try to get its uh, line type also or layer v l a get layer of l object select this statement and click load selection you can see layer 1 is its layer so if you select the line you can see layer 1 is its layer similarly you can also get its color if its color has been changed to say some green color means color number 3 so let us check it out v l a get color of l object so select this statement and click load selection you can see 3 is written over here 3 so means its color is green so like that using the visual is activex name by converting its name vlax in a vla object we can get different properties of the entities very simply with visual is activex methods we shall see more on this in the coming sessions as of now i am closing hope all you understood how to read object properties using visual is component visual is activex component Thanks for watching and if you like this video please subscribe to my channel as well as share this video to your friends thanks for watching and welcome to the next session